Okay, so it's Monday, which means it's my clinical day. It's like 5.15. I'm waiting for Jasmine to come get me so we can head to the hospital. Um, of course, I didn't get good sleep. That always happens the day before clinical, but I'm used to it at this point. Um, this is actually our second to last week on our OB rotation. So we're winding down with it. And it honestly sucks because we've only been like, we'll only have gone four times when we really should have went like seven because my teacher got COVID. So kind of sucks because I really actually did enjoy this unit and like learning about it. But I'm still glad that we have got the experience that we've gotten this far. So yeah, like always, we'll be there from six to two and then have our post conference afterwards i think today we're gonna focus on like a focused postpartum assessment which i'm a little nervous about because we haven't had the lab time to like practice on a mannequin or whatever so hopefully it goes well and at the end of the day it's still like a learning experience like my teacher is like super patient so um we shall see i guess so it's uh the six o'clock is killing me like i feel like it was if it was from like 10 to, to 4 or something so we're here at the hospital we thought we had to get here at 6 but it's actually 6 30 so jasmine wasn't late today technically surprising very surprising but i'm tired already tired already oh um her oxygenation was 99 percent she was B positive, her temperature was 98.3. 21, G1, P1, uh, EGA was 40 weeks and zero days. She had a primary C-section today at uh, 01.38. Um, her QBL was 13.33. Her blood type was A positive, GBS negative, rubella immune, so I'm on campus walking to lab right now. It's 9.50 something. We got to be there at 10. So today I actually don't know what skills we're like focusing on. But hopefully it's something related to our postpartum assessment. Because next week is the week we'll actually be graded um, in clinical for it. But it doesn't seem too difficult. Like... I was walking through an ad clinical with my professor yesterday, and it seems okay. Like, it's not anything crazy, but I hope we're not in here long either, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Because I have so much work to catch up on. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. So, that kind of threw off my, like, schedule of doing work. So, the little graph get canceled, right? What is this? 125 over 125 is times 5 milliliters equals what? 7 what? Is this per doser for the day? Is this per doser for the day? This is per dose, right? So y'all, I'm back home. Please don't mind my closet area. But basically, um, class was just from 10 to 12. We didn't do what we normally do in skills. Like, it was kind of like low-key, like lecture, not gonna lie. But it was helpful. Like, we went over um, AED use for children, um, different equipment for children, like sizing in regards to pediatrics because we're about to start our peds rotation in two weeks and we also went over some dosage calc because pediatrics is like in regards to meds is like weight based so we went over some dosage calculation problems and i'm glad we did that because i realized i need to freshen up on that like i really need to freshen up on it but um basically it's one right now um i'm probably just gonna chill and watch some videos until three and then i'm gonna start doing some work because i'm kind of behind i'm not really that behind like when i listed it out but just content wise 
I feel like I'm a little behind. So I have an ATI proctor test, my OB uh, like proctor final on Thursday. So I need to review some things for that. And then we have our second exam next week. So I need to review some things for that. And then I have this honors college event thing to go to, but I believe it's virtual, so it's fine. And then, yeah. So my night will be a little long, I feel like. I also don't think I said that this is my first week of orientation for my job. So yesterday and today, I wasn't able to go in because I have class, but luckily the people that hired me, they were able to work with my schedule to where I can do it. Um, well, it was virtual regardless, but I wasn't able to like be on at the times they needed us to be on. So I had just have to complete like the little modules like myself. Um, yeah, I have to complete the modules myself for today and yesterday. So, and then Wednesday is virtual again, but I'm not going to go to class because I feel like I could at least go to two of the days. So Wednesday and then Friday, I'm going to be on at the time they need us to be on and everything so i'm pretty excited about starting my job i'm not gonna lie like i feel like it's gonna be like really good experience i'm a little nervous but because i'm gonna be tired but i think it'll be a really good experience so i'm an indwelling urinary catheter and must have these three items of information on the back <laughs> Um, orientation was fun. We went over some peri care with urinary catheters. We went over how to remove an IV, um, what's the scope of our practice, so like CNAs and PCAs. Um, what else did we do? We went over caudies. We went over strokes. We went over different codes. Um, we kind of did a lot because it was from one to four. 30 but it's like four now so we got out a little early um i actually enjoyed it i think i'm gonna like the job and i think like i said it'll be like really really good experience so i definitely am looking forward to starting i'm a little nervous about balancing like everything as far as school and stuff but my workload isn't really crazy this semester if it was last semester, I absolutely not. Like with pharmacology, absolutely not. But because it's just really, I feel like I really am only in one class because it's my OB and peds rotation. And then I have my nursing research, nursing informatics, and then clinical, which is like almost, you're guaranteed to get an A unless you kill someone or you just have no clue what you're doing. And I don't think I'm gonna do either one of those, so. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much orientation. Tomorrow we just have some at-home CBLs, like work online to do. And then, I mean, Friday we have orientation from eight to 12 i believe and i don't have class on fridays anyway so I'm not missing anything so right now i'm about to go home right now i'm about to go home probably eat something do some notes and then i think i am i have to watch the lecture that i missed class today um, i had to watch that lecture and then i think i will go to the game at seven and then I'll probably come home and do some more work and stuff. But overall, I'm having a good day. Also, the scrubs that we have to wear are burgundy. And I just wish that we could wear that at school. Like, I like low-key colors. Like, that royal blue. It's not even like... It is royal blue. I It's just... Uh, it doesn't go with anything. You want to wear a jacket a different color. It just doesn't go. 
I'm not really such a fan of it. I mean, it's not the worst in the world, but I would rather take like black, burgundy, something dark, even even white, just cause it's cute, but it's not very practical. But I'm rambling and I'm ready to go home, so. Okay y'all, so it's like four right now. I got out of class, I had an 8 to 11.50, and I chilled in the student center until like 1, and I went to the library and been in there since. Right now, I'm taking a break. I'm about to go to Starbucks, and yeah, I don't know if I want to go home or come back to the library. I was really productive in the library, so that's why I'm leaning towards come back, because I really have a lot of work to do, but then again, I'm tired and I want to go home. But I know if I go home, I'm laying down. Like, and I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to do that. I have practice tonight um, for New Era, but I don't know if I'm going to that. I don't know. Just because I have a lot to do. Like, a lot to do. And, yeah, so I don't know about that. But my day so far has been okay. It started all pretty bad because I had an ATI proctor test and hopefully y'all know what that is. It's kind of long and a little confusing to explain, but basically it's a test we take and our teachers don't make it up. I don't know why I have this next one, but I'm going to keep it on. But our teachers don't create the questions. So like the questions be hard. The questions be hard and i didn't prepare as much as i could have because the practice test we took for it was it wasn't bad like i got a 70 on that one and that would have been level two but yeah sorry y'all so the practice one we took i got a 70 on that and that would have been a level two technically but this one, I'm not even going to tell you all the score, but I didn't get level two. So to in order to not have to retake it, you have to get level two or three. And I got very much level one. So I'm, I was so annoyed, like, because I'm just burnt out. Like, I'm over the semester. The semester is not as terrible as last semester, but I don't know. I just feel, like, burnt out. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing nursing stuff. I'm just tired, like I'm tired. And I feel, I be feeling so bad and like so guilty for saying that because like, I feel like as a nursing student, you should always be, okay, I gotta do this, this and this. But it like, it gets to a point where you feel like, dog, like I don't wanna do anything. Like I dread studying. I just wanna chill and hang out with my friends. Like I really be like, oh my gosh, like I wish I was another major, but it's like, I really do wanna do nursing. Like that's what I wanna do. I know that for sure. I'm not questioning that. But it's like, sometimes it's hard. It's like a if you know, you know type thing. Like, it really be hard not for doubt not to, like, come up or, like, just, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But I'm burnt out. That's the moral of the story. Like, I'm burnt out. Uh, so I have to do the retake for that now, next Thursday, after I take the exam number two. So, like... Annoyed is not even the word. Annoyed is truly not the word. Okay, y'all, so I definitely haven't vlogged anything today at all. Um, but honestly, all I did was go to orientation from 8 to 12. And then I met my manager on my unit at, like, 12.15. Sorry for the background. Please ignore it. But... Yeah, that's really all I did. And then I came home. I did my hair. Did a high pony because I'm about to go out with my friend Kashara. She's back in town. But yeah, I'm about to go out with her. So I did my hair and then I started working on something for my nursing research class. And that's really all I did today. Like, that's it. So you didn't miss much. And I put on my little press-ons, which we love to hate. I mean, they're convenient. But, like, I kind of do miss getting my nails done, but it's whatever. Like, it's convenient for right now with nursing. And just, honestly, it saves me some money. But I do miss getting my um, 
no it's done but i'm off topic so yeah right now i'm about to go out have a good time so maybe i'll film that and put that in here but it's not really nursing related but i mean it is a week in my life so we shall see if i'm able to get some footage so i'm out with shara you already know it's the baddest she's the baddest she's the best she's the realest if this is like something, <laughs> but yeah, for lifers, we're at what is this? L S Tech, and then we're gonna go clubbing and get lit. Here. Mom, she says hi because I know you're gonna say something. She's gonna comment, like, hi, baby, hi, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I got the watermelon margarita, and Kashara, what'd you get? It's that tropical margarita. Is it good? It's delicious. Yeah. Y'all don't mind my nails. I'm putting them in. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about her. Sunday yesterday I didn't vlog as much as I should have I'm sorry again it's like two days in a row but um yesterday I just did some work in the morning then from four to seven I had an honors college event to go to it was like orientation for the new members and then from seven to ten I went to this play um that my friend was in that this group on campus called SOP it's like an organization on campus they um set up like organized it and it was a really good play like i'm not gonna lie it was long but it was a really good play and my friend did what she needed to do today i'm just going to be studying i had two exams on thursday and then three exams actually on thursday and then i need to email my professor i need, I need to do a couple of things but for the most part i'll just be doing work studying getting ready for clinical tomorrow don't mind my background i'm sorry but yeah that's about it <laughs> studying right now like i'm just watching some videos and going over my ati book which is a really good summary of my like textbook but it's just like i was just thinking it's like nursing is so annoying because you you can have like the general overview of something like understand it be able to describe it but you might still get some questions wrong just because like you didn't go into the amount of detail that that question requires. But you'll know about the, like, topic it's asking you about. But that specific question is just like, ah, I don't remember that. Or I didn't really go into detail with that. So studying be so annoying because it's like you have to try to think like your teacher or try to think like the NCLEX. And it's like, I don't make those questions. I don't know what they're going to ask me. And, of course, your teacher is not going to tell you. So it'll just be like, it's so annoying it's so annoying it's so annoying but um that's pretty much gonna be the end of this video i don't have anything else to put in here i really wish that i could record more that's the only thing with being in nursing school and like clinical because of patient privacy and just not letting people know like where you work and everything it sucks because like in regards to vlogging i can't let you guys know everything and i know y'all want to see some like stuff but i can't show you of course being in a hospital and then at school i can show you guys some of that but this just wasn't a week where like we really did hands-on skills so hopefully my next week in a life of nursing school vlog i can dedicate it some to some more skills so that'll be a goal of mine as always thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you're notified every single time i post a new video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching